Can you fully air condition an ordinary three bedroom semi detached house in England? I didn't think it would be practical. Surely there would be big air ducts to root and the entire house would have to be torn apart to do it. But my American friends, who were also of the opinion that a lack of air conditioning was somewhat uncivilised, told me I should investigate mini split air conditioning systems. A mini split system has a condenser or compressor unit outside and an interior unit inside. The two are connected by a thin set of copper pipes and electrical power and signalling cables. A single exterior unit can connect to several interior units and different types of interior units are available including wall and floor mounted ones. So to get AC into a room all you need is a place for the interior unit, a place outside for the exterior unit and a route for some pipes to connect the two. I hired Subcool FM to do my installation. First they send round a designer to look at the house, ask you what you want and figure out where everything can go, and they give you a quote. If you decide to go ahead, they order the equipment and schedule the installation. My installation took five days. For each unit, they first put on the wall brackets. Then they drill holes through the exterior wall for the pipes and cables. They braze pipes to the interior units, so there are no chances of leaks inside. The interior units are mounted and pipes are fed through the holes to the outside. Pipes are routed to the exterior units. The pipes are quite bendable. And can negotiate all sorts of obstacles including flat roofs. Everything is hidden inside trunking where appropriate, both inside and outside. Pressurisation test, make sure there are no leaks. And all the water vapour is removed from the pipes before they are filled with refrigerant. Finally, the external units are wired into a ring mains via the back of a socket. These units only draw a maximum of 1500 watts, so there will be plenty of capacity for them on most normal ring mains. The interior units take their power from the external ones and those wires just take the same route as the refrigerant pipes. The interior units can be controlled with an infrared remote control, they tell the exterior units what to do. The system can be controlled by Wi-Fi with an app. I've even got it working through a home assistant integration which can even monitor the power usage. You might wonder why I'm posting about air conditioning at the start of winter, but these units can also be used for heating. Because they are heat pumps, they're very efficient. And for heating one room during the day when I'm working from home, I think it might turn out to be cheaper than running the gas central heating, but I need to run more tests before reaching any conclusions. I'm very happy with the installation. Many thanks to the guys from Subcool FM who were impeccable house guests, made no mess and were always happy to answer my questions and keep me informed about what they were doing and put up with me filming them. 
I might do future videos going into more detail, but for now I can say that my five room installation uses about 0.8 kilowatt hour each day just in standby, that's about 30 watts from each exterior unit. But I can warm up my kitchen on a chilly November morning for a couple of hours using on average about 250 watts. Whereas my central heating system uses 6000 watts on full power, although it does get things pretty warm in an hour and then the house stays quite warm without much energy use for the rest of the day. But more experiments are needed. That's all for now.